Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, for those of you guys returning to my channel, welcome my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, Aquarius, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages that you have here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2022? How are you guys doing, Aquarius? Hope you guys are enjoying spring. Change of weather is always a good thing. <laughs> All righty. Here we go. One more shuffle. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. All right. First card here. We have the Page of Cups, okay? Communication coming through for some of you guys. This could be in regards to love. This could be in regards to lost love. Uh, page of Cups usually indicates messages, loving messages. Um, with the Ten of Swords, there could have been a situation where you could have had a falling out, some type of separation, some type of ending with someone recently. Um, this is giving me almost the impression for some of you guys it is revisiting the past um it could be being put in a position where you accidentally bump or run into someone that is from your past someone that at some point you cared and loved for very much um something that didn't end very well or on good terms it could have been messy um and what they're showing me here is there is a revisiting of that situation only because you are you're about to set out on a new cycle Aquarius uh, for some of you guys it could be a situation something that you've been uh, holding on for or holding on to for many years for some of you guys this could have been uh, a partner or someone that you genuinely cared for very much um, could go as far as 10 years ago so a lot of the times when we come to endings or separations or breakups and it is someone that completely transformed our life or completely changed us um at some point in time i often see uh, people you know saying yeah i've moved on it's, it's been a while um and then in a reading it shows uh that they still yeah, they've moved on to two other relationships or three or four or whatever. But deep down, they still have unhealed parts of themselves from the relationship that was most um, most of a lesson that brought them a lot of lessons. And usually those are the relationships that transform our life, that change uh, our view, that change our way of approaching love perhaps even how we protect ourselves from it um and and i feel like for a lot of you guys it is the revisiting of a situation where there was a major loss and there was a feeling of at some point being lost in uh, the everyday uh, cycle not being able to fully move on it's like you left a little part of you behind in that relationship for some of you guys, it could be uh, the loss of a relative or a loved one, uh, someone that uh, you have been mourning for for a while. For some of you guys, it's revisiting um, an anniversary or a death anniversary, something that uh, was very painful. Um, but for the majority, I am hearing that it was a relationship that uh, ended in very bad terms and there was a lot of hurt a lot of betrayal in this process so if you find yourself in the month of april um revisiting the situation or looking to your past and almost for some of you guys it could be even triggers that you're experiencing right now um whether it's someone that reminds you of that person or whether it's going through a similar situation something that you kind of tell yourself wait this kind of feels familiar i kind of feel like i've been through this before there was a lesson there was a cycle here and you're coming out of this new cycle
But before go or coming out of this old cycle and before going into the new cycle in your life, there is a lot of things that you need to let go of, Aquarius. Things that instead of helping you have hindered you when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about partnerships, when we're talking about even how you relate with people. Um, there is almost like this feeling of wanting to be so guarded that it's very di you make it very difficult. Um, and it's almost like you've convinced yourself that you're a very difficult person to love uh, when in reality, it's just you going out of your way to make it difficult so that it can, in your subconscious, it can make sense of why you've been through so much hurt or so much pain. The only explanation is maybe I am difficult to love. Um, but this is something that you need to grow out of. You need to go into this new beginning cycle uh, releasing yourself from any attachments of the past. Now, your next card here is the Eight of Cups. So yeah, there is a walking away from a situation that has kept you or has had you in almost a state of numbness. For some of you guys, like I said, it could go back to 10 years. For others of you, it could have been a relationship that really hurt you and damaged you seven years ago or five years ago or three years ago. Um... But what they're saying here is don't let uh, those lessons that were much needed for you to go through, don't let them uh, condition you into feeling or thinking that you are a difficult person to love, that you don't deserve love or that you don't deserve to be happy. Um, it's almost kind of like when we keep recurring, uh, going through something that is very similar and we get to the point of just throwing our hands up in the air and saying, you know what, it is what it is. If this is my destiny, what spirit is telling you is no, you are the creator. You are the one that decides the type of life, the type of love, the type of relationship you want. And it is up to you whether you settle for it or not. There is something that is very important here. And what I'm getting is you're not responsible for how people love you. Everyone has the right to love you however they know how to love. For some, it could be a distorted type of love, could be a toxic type of love, whatever the situation is. They have the right to love you that way if that's all they know. But it is up to you to decide and choose if you want to be loved that way or if you deserve something better. Do you see where I'm going with this, Aquarius? Now, your next card here is the High Priestess. It's you walking towards higher knowledge. It's you uh, connecting with your subconscious and consciousness and bringing perfect balance and harmony. There is something that you need to heal from, Aquarius, in order to uh, really start to see major changes in your life. And this could be in every, in every single, uh, you know, every, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, in any area of your life. Not necessarily just, you know, with love. It could be with finances. It could be with career. It's the feeling of not being enough or the recurring thought that you're not enough or that you're not capable of, etc. And we go back to that example. You have to accept the fact that everyone has the right to love you however they are able to love. It is up to you to decide whether you settle with that, whether you accept that type of love or if you deserve better. Uh, you're the only one that makes those, those decisions for yourself. And at this point, it is the, under, the deep understanding that you are the co-creator of your life, Aquarius. Wherever area in your life that is not going your way and you feel like it's a never-ending cycle, like it always keeps repeating, repeating, it's time for you to take a step back and really analyze and stop blaming other people and take responsibility because you choose to have those people in your life. Um, so again, it is about reflection. It is about releasing, letting go of the past, letting go fully, letting go of the past and moving on. Uh, stop blaming, um, you know, because this person didn't love me right. For all you know, that's all they knew. And only you know what you've been through, right? But ultimately, if you keep allowing people to mistreat you, then perhaps it's time you realize 
or accept that that's the type of love you settle for. And it's time to make those changes and to release that cycle. All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the very best. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.